good morning. We woke up kind of probably the earliest we have this trip so far because we're going to Italy. Very excited. It's gonna be great. Mm, how do you feel? Tired. <laughs> that would make sense. And the mountains, actually, I don't really know Italy, so there's probably mountains there, but, but not as white and snowy <laughs> as here. Okay, so we went to Zermatt to then find out that we didn't even have to go to Zermatt. We do this all the time, where we take a train to one place and then realize, oh, we actually have to go this way. Sitting backwards on the bench for lighting. So basically, a bunch of things went wrong. We got figured out the route. We got on the wrong train without knowing, but it was still going the right direction. It was just at a later time. So that made us, when we got here, we didn't know that there was a huge train station here. And then we missed our train, and now we have to wait like an hour and a half until the next train comes. So that's really annoying, so we're just sitting on a bench. Hello, hello, it is the next day, and a lot has happened since I last talked to you. I started traveling at 8 a.m. and finally we, got in, we didn't even get to our hostel. We got to a hotel at 10.30 p.m. We ended up, not because of our fault, because of either trains being slow, we didn't know there was a huge train station, mostly things not being perfectly on schedule and not knowing where things were right off the hop. We missed three trains, had to wait in the train station for about four hours. Um, then we didn't know how to get across the lake to where we're staying at now. Wrong bus, we had to walk around, waited for a taxi, had to like do this whole thing. Then we couldn't get into our hotel that I booked while we were driving in our taxi at like 9.45. This is the door. So pretend this is all clean, but like a really nice sized bed. Yeah, we have little girl ponytails going on right now. <laughs> All our stuff, they gave us food, so I was eating that. But the view is really what's like super nice. It's, it's a balcony cool. too. This is Lake Como. I thought for a sec that was a duvet, but I think it's a urinal. Um, and <laughs> no, I do, but like I thought for a sec. You know, last night I was delirious, okay? <laughs> hello, hello. Yes, I know I look like a biker. I will change my outfit in a sec. But anyways, this is what our hostel looks like. The people here seem super, super nice. And it's gorgeous. And it's really nice here. We're like literally right on the lake. And I'm so, so happy they have lockers and I brought a lock. So I feel very prepared. So anyways, we're gonna go probably grab some food, check stuff out. I really wanna make friends today <laughs> with some people. And we saw some girls going swimming and I wanna go swimming today too. It's just like, it doesn't look sunny at all, but it's so humid. I'm gonna put my hair up, I'm sweating so much. We just went for a walk and just like along the beach and then back up through and found like where the grocery store is and everything. But oh my goodness, I love Italy. It is just so great. Like I know like Switzerland was amazing and everything, but I feel like Italy is somewhere I'd actually live. So pretty and it looks so jungly looking and there's mountains and you can go on hikes, you can also go swimming and the people here, I really like the people here, like they can speak less English, but they're very, very friendly and nice. Alex and I are walking and then like, oh, also if I lived here, I would go on a biking tour. Okay, so that'd be great. And I'd work in a hostel and I would own a motorcycle and it'd be the best. Um, their driving is a little crazy though, so that'd be scary, but the roads are smaller. That's why we get the motorcycle. Obviously I've thought this through a lot. Um, we're walking and then there's like a group of people biking, like men, and then they're just like, and like whistling and stuff, so I was like, yeah, but it just made me laugh. And I got a bug in my mouth, so yeah. All right, the audio is probably gonna be crap right now, but this is my view of Lake Como. We walked over there, it's very pretty. In time, oh, there's a kite surfer, a hostel, and there's a little restaurant in the bottom, which is super cute. So I just went for a walk to find food because we're both really hungry because we haven't eaten since breakfast. Oh, there's people. <laughs> this is awkward. And earlier I went swimming and that was really great. That was cold and freezing because I was kind of bored. Um, it was cloudy and stuff before and now it's sunny. 
so that wasn't very polite weather but it feels cool I've officially been swimming in Italy and I've put my feet in the water in Switzerland so I feel cool at this really pretty place on the lake ah the view our place is right over there past those trees gorgeous Alex has her pasta food oh that looks so good, very good. and I have these pizzas I say that with a question mark just thought you needed to see this Oh my word, look at how the light comes through. Men are beautiful, I need Alex, have anything you'd like to say to the camera? Oh, the most gorgeous person ever. <laughs> but Alex and I slept in a bit because we stayed up really last night. We met some girls from Austria, so we hung out with them and that was a lot of fun, but went to bed really late, so of course we had to sleep in. Hello, hello, it is a bit later. Um, it is cold outside. Yay, it's great. I'll have to, I'll bring you up to the terrace and show you how cold and windy it looks. Um, had a whole pizza. Was really good. I liked it more than the other pizza I had last night. I like your hair. Oh, that looks so pretty. Oh, wait, I'm videoing you now. Okay, stand up. Okay, there. Oh, yeah, turl, turn. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Super cute. So cute. Up all the stairs and my Birkenstocks. Ooh, sideways rain. Love. I was laying on that hammock before. Ah, it's rainy and cold. Good morning. It is the next day. Uh, last night we went out for supper and it was pouring rain and I wasn't super hungry because I had eaten a whole pizza for lunch and so I just got grilled vegetables which ended up just being zucchini and eggplant um, which were not my favorite on a ferry. We are literally the only ones here right now. All my stuff. Ah. Um, we're gonna ride this all the way to Como, so where we had ridden the taxi before. We're all right, so currently we just got onto our train in Mulan. I feel very cool right now. Uh, we had to walk a little bit, and you can see like my backpack strap <coughs> marks. Not a very nice feeling on my shoulders. It's not great. But we had to walk from this one station and then walk to the other one. And then this lady who didn't have Google Maps on her phone from Australia followed us, that was fun. And Google Maps made me go the wrong way. And then we figured it out and then we got here. And then Alex and I got food because we hadn't eaten food yet today. And I had a sandwich and I just devoured it. I was so hungry. Hello, we made it to Venice. I'm so happy. There was like a really quick transition. We had like three minutes to make it to the next train and honestly didn't really think we were gonna make it, but we did. So happy. We just like followed everyone running in the same direction. So kind of hoping and then we got on the train But it wasn't moving yet. So we asked someone is this the right train? Is this the one we're trying to go to? And they're like, yep And then we saw it later. So like yes, thank goodness we made it We literally like walked into the wrong building because people buzzed us in and we're like We don't know where our place is and then this guy was like shouting us at the window go over here So anyways, that was really nice our Airbnb looks like Alex has all her dirty clothes and then we have outside which is like a little bit sketchy area, but like whatever. And I got cool shoes. Hello. We have made it. I feel like I say that every time to the entry of a vlog, just like hello, hello. But anyways, Alex is smiling at me. Going to Venice, we just bought our train tickets. They were so much cheaper than the ones in Switzerland. It's raining a lot, so I look like a cowgirl now in Venice. And our guy was so nice. The place we're having the house, they gave us an umbrella. Okay, so we just got off the train and this is some breakfast that I got. It's a nice looking sandwich. Alex got some iced tea and so the sandwich and a donut. She's gonna do a taste test. So good. I've been like thinking of wanting to try one of the espressos here because that's like, you know, the Italian espresso, but I also hate coffee. Okay, I am filming. It is beautiful. This is Venice. It is very cold and wet and we're probably gonna get soaked. It's so wet and pretty and it's very Venice-like. I feel like if you think of Venice, this is what you think of. It's like, no, there's boats and stuff. Guys, there's the bridge. The really cool bridge. And I'm very happy they were like trying to get the best shot here, but. So pretty. And I got this bracelet, the beaded one. Really like it. Goodness, I'm so excited to see this bridge. It's cold and it's wet and it's raining, but we made it here and I'm just. Ah! All right, so we just randomly found this really cool square. I'm sorry, I don't know what the name of this place is, but it is very fancy, and I'm pretty sure it's been in a few movies and it's famous, but we just stumbled upon it. 
We're waiting right now to go on our gondola ride. So we're just kind of checking stuff out. We went in this like cool glass shop. And there was cool things in there too. Mm. Alright, bye. Okay, so currently we are on a gondola. <laughs> I feel super cool. Um, this is really crazy. I have this stuck to my neck so you get the weird awful view. It's Alex. It's a guy paddling. <laughs> Hello dude. <laughs> Bird on a tree I'm just sitting here I got time Um, we made it back. We were like so done. Like after the gondola tour, I was just like, I just want to go home. I'm tired, I'm wet, my legs are completely soaked. Very pretty. It was way prettier than I thought it was gonna be. Alex got literally all the food. I think she was hungry. Alex, what did you order? Food. All of it. And we have all of our laundry and thankfully it's all dry. Hello. It is like 5 a.m. or something. And we are going to Rome. It's probably raining. Oh no. Life is going on over here. Packed up braided hair. It's May 3rd. That's crazy that it's May 3rd. It's like time looped, jumped. Um, last night we like had people trying to break into our room, but I, I think they had the wrong room And so Alex had to go up and open the door and be like, do you want something? And they were like, oh my goodness, we're so sorry But they were like banging on the door and then Probably people looked like a troll Oh, um, and then we heard people like yelling and fighting or drunk singing. I don't know. That was last night though The windows are not thick. Some things noticed about like people's outfits in Italy so far is like one They really like leather Two, skinny jeans are still very much so a thing. They like the thick winged eyeliner, like, and there are lots of Louis Vuitton bags out there. All right, I have some updating to do. So anyways, we made it to our Airbnb. The lady here is so nice. A $300 fine for the trains, which really sucked. I learned my lesson, so basically, short, long story short, a Euro rail, super great, love it, but then I didn't activate my ticket before going on the train. I activated it when I was on the train and I didn't know that it mattered. And I had also activated it like that, like always activated it on the train the whole time and no one ever said anything. But then this guy was like, no, you have to activate it like beforehand, which technically that does make sense. And I looked it up and you're supposed to do that. So I had to pay $300. So that was all great. What our room looks like, I, as you can tell, I just dumped all my stuff there. I got a whole box of pizza. Uh, then I bought um, some like cheese puffs, four apples, and Nutella. That's really weird. They have lots of Nutella, Kinder, and Oreo products here. It's like really coming down. So thankfully, we were able to get here, go out, get our food before it poured. And so I just was walking down the street with like this big thing of pizza and then all my like junk food and my four apples and I'm like, I need this food. <laughs> Hi, good morning. We're going to Rome. I'm, we are in Rome, but I am so excited. We're gonna go to the Colosseum and then whatever else we have time for today and then tomorrow, we'll just go see the rest of it. I'm very excited. I wanna go to the Colosseum, the Trevi Fountain, the Panthenon, and then the Roman Forum, like all the ruins and stuff. Looks like it's a really nice day, so I'm excited. And I'm gonna eat pasta, and I have only eaten pizza so far. Alex and I are in a very good mood right now. My hair looks great. But we are waiting for the metro to come, and we're so smart. We actually like know where things are and what direction to go. It's crazy. We're not gonna get lost. I'm so happy. Alex, give us a whole fit check. Tell us, tell us about it. Uh, I feel cute, but like not too excessive. Sad's my. Uh, oh, she got her glasses on. Outfit. Her wearing this t-shirt with my fanny pack. Um, wow, oh my goodness. People looking at me. Sexy fanny pack. First of all, terminal, extremely crowded, but we're at the Trevi Fan and I'm so happy right now, you have no idea. Oh, look at the Trevi Fan, oh my gosh! Okay. Um, we are at the 
Pantheon. I know I've been saying Pantheon or something this whole time. It's Pantheon. I meant to say that. Most touristy place ever, but who cares? Alex wanted to eat here. I'm hungry. <laughs> Um, so she got fettuccine. Alex, how does it taste? It tastes so good. Uh, this is my first pasta here. I like it. It's good. It tastes like a very elevated uh, mac and cheese. I have no idea what it is, but the noodles are very good. So we got the posts. The, it was a really funny story. So there's guys over there who are like smacking that little toy to the ground. It makes a horrible baby cry sound. Yeah, like that sound. Um, the police drove through and they just like booked it. It was very entertaining to watch. Oh, it's so cool. And it looks so cool. I am so happy to be here. Yeah, I'm sweating a lot and these people here are making me feel very on edge. So I, I don't like that, but looks cool. I think we're gonna try to get into the Coliseum tomorrow because you need a ticket beforehand and I don't trust any people that are here because they might be scammers. Okay, we're gonna be different, do a different angle and vlog through this little tiny mirror. I am so hot and sweaty. In those things, like you're like dripping sweat. I was actually like full on, had just sweat just pouring down my face. We stopped at a grocery store. We really liked the brand Coop, those grocery stores. Whenever Alex is like, there's one! And we just go straight to it. Some salad, excited to eat all that. Robberies, very, oh, my feet. Hi, good morning, welcome back. We are, Going to go check out Rome today, maybe see the outside of the Vatican because we're not going inside it, and eating pasta is basically the plan. And then tomorrow, we go on a plane to Greece, which is crazy. So today is our last full day in Italy. Okay, so right now, we are at this restaurant. It's called, I'm reading the, the tablecloth, Tonarello. Subway ride was interesting. There was this sketchy dude right there in front of us and was just like staring at us and making at least both of us feel really uncomfortable and it was really weird and he stood up and was really close to us and then this other guy came on and he kind of like I think noticed that like at least I made eye contact with him and kind of looked a little bit scared so then he was kind of standing there watching us and pointing to seats he's like oh like, go sit over there so we did and that was like so much better because we sat down and then the guy the creepy guy left and then the other guy who was nice sat next to us and then no one bothered us but appreciate that guy a lot because that was yeah and then I went and saw the Vatican, just the outside wall. I said hi to it, made me feel happy to see the smallest country in the world. I don't understand how it's a country. Alex, how's your food tasting? It's very good. Yeah, it looks magnificent. Mm -hmm. So we're gonna dig into this. Oh, that looks so good. Okay, so we're currently in the Colosseum. I was slightly worried this was a scam. Thankfully it wasn't. How cool! It's very big. It feels a little bit like the metro station and here there's so many people. So cool! Anyways, describe how my pasta tasted. It tasted very good. I don't even know how to describe it, but those mussels were like really great and I had the tomato sauce and stuff, which was really good. It's actually really funny because it had like a layer of like cocoa powder on the top. I like took a spoonful and like obviously if it's the top you're gonna get some cocoa powder on it and I like fully inhaled all the cocoa powder like straight down in my throat. So I like coughed it up everywhere. So that was funny. I don't know, I feel just like bleh. I think it's like a mixture of like heat. Oh, it's funny, I don't know if you can see it. Tan line from the backpack that I was carrying all day. So prep my bag for the airport tomorrow and then talk to our host. But Rome was great.